Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome to my garage. Um, today I'm going to do a review of the cabinets. Um, I've got the New Age Bold 3.0 and um, a lot of people have interest in these cabinets. I'm getting a lot of messages, a lot of comments. So it's been almost three months now, so I figured I'd review them, uh, let you guys know what, um, you know what I like about them, what I don't like about them. Um, I'll go over each cabinet and all that good stuff and then I'll just tell you you know, like I said, uh, some pros and cons about uh, how I feel about the whole system so far. Um, I'll start with the installation. It was extremely easy and in part due to the way that they come packed. What happens is they take the smaller cabinets um, and they put them inside the bigger cabinets. So you get either three or depending on the, the setup you get, three, four boxes and it's pretty much all your cabinets. Yeah, so this cabinet here, this big cabinet, actually came inside of this bigger cabinet. So that's nice because I just literally took it out, put the wheels on it, and it's set up. Um, you don't, the drawer's are already on, uh, you, you install the wheels, you install the handle on the side there so you can wheel it in and out, and you're done with that cabinet. These three cabinets up here came inside of one of the bigger cabinets. Um, one of these guys here. Uh, this is actually the biggest, that's why I had that one in it. And then these guys had uh, one cabinet had all three stacked up between styrofoam. So very minimal damage the way they stack them. However, there was a little bit of damage. I never say anything to them because it was very minimal. I know how these things go. I'm surprised there's no more, not more damage just because shippers are not very careful. Who knows where they're built and how far they have to travel to get here. All right guys, so my setup is I have two 30 inch lockers, a 42 inch locker, um, a work station, and three hanging cabinets there, um, three of the small top cabinets. So they say that these lockers can hold 800 pounds. Um, I don't have anywhere near that in them. Um, and my wife and I have stand, uh, were standing in them when we were installing them, so no problems there. Um, and then these hanging cabinets are about 100 pounds uh, capacity each. So 800 on the big ones, uh, the 42 and the 30s, and then we got 100 pound capacity on the top ones. And then the workstation, you could, it's on wheels, it's, it's very durable. The workstation does actually roll. It has swivel uh, wheels on one side and then stationary wheels on the other. All right, so let's start with the pros of the cabinet. Um, starting with you know the build, the build quality is really good. Um, you can see how I have my setup here. Um, it comes with three shelves per locker, and you get a coat rack as well. I just have it here, just to have it here. But you can see that's where I keep you know some of my tools, um, a lot of my woodworking tools, and um, just other tools that are bulky tools are in my. I got another workshop. Um, little shed and then um, yeah just the build quality is good like I said you get three three um, shelves per locker which you can get more I mean if you if you want to store stuff that's not very big let's say you're using this for like a, a storage of product or something like that and you want more shelves I would say you can definitely get more in there they have plenty of room for shelving so I think that they would probably sell those separately for you I don't have it overfilled, so I'm never going to reach that 800 pound capacity. Um, same thing with the top cabinets. This is where I actually keep all my camera gear. Um, same thing with the top cabinets. They're very sturdy. I mean, th these are tough. If you can hear that, that's, that's pretty solid. Um, the way they, they made these with the bend and all is uh, really solid. Really happy with that. There's locks on every one of these cabinets and a magnets so you get a really good seal they're pretty tight um, you do have to close left side followed by the right so they overlap um, again very sturdy i mean you can hear that sturdiness I, I just don't see the point of going to the pro i mean if you want to go pro and you have the extra money go for the pro but i just here for me i don't see the point these are super sturdy. Now here's the biggest cabinet, so 
it'll have the most amount of flex in it and it, it's still super sturdy. Uh, this is where I keep all my detailing stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really sturdy, really strong overall. Um, heavy gauge steel, 800 pound capacity. Again, we're, we're talking about overkill. Um, I've, like I mentioned in my install video, I'm on, I have cinder blocks running the whole edge. So I'm halfway on the cinder, uh, um, about four inches on the cinder block. And then the front, I put the legs on, which I didn't in the back, and then put a four by four block to, to level them. So they are actually sitting on blocks and screwed to the wall for safety. I recommend highly you screw these to the wall because if you were to pull one of these guys on you or your kids pull them on you, on themselves, it's not a good idea. Just do the right thing, screw them to the wall. These guys are actually screwed to each other and the wall. So the way it works is I started here, I screwed this to the wall, I screwed this one to the next, to the, uh, to the first one, then to the wall and so on. So I screwed it to the big one, then to the wall. So everything is actually linked together and linked to the wall. So that way they're level all the way across and very sturdy. Um, okay, so going to the workbench, I chose the bamboo top. You could do bamboo or you can do um, stainless steel. I just like bamboo because I work with wood. Um, I got all my setup here. I'll put a link to the description of a couple things that I put in here to make my life easier. Uh, one being this organizer for screwdrivers. Um, and then everything else is just kind of my tools. So we got one drawer there with uh, just all tools. Um, let me back this out here. We got another drawer with just more tools that I'm working on here. I need an organizer for that. Um, all, my, all my wrenches here. We got trim remover tools and um, vinyl tools to uh, do like um, wraps and tents and all that good stuff. And then I've got my more heavy duty stuff here. And then all my socket sets are gonna be in this, in this system here. So, I mean, just got a lot of storage and I'm not even utilizing, you know, maybe 50% of it. Got locks again on everything here. This one lock will lock this whole system. This lock will lock this system. Um, I put a rubber mat, just a Milwaukee rubber mat that I had. Um, I put magnetized, um, so these guys are actually magnets that are paper towel holders. So I put this guy on there, I'll put a link to this, I'll put a link to the organizer. Um, I have my magnetized uh, shop lights here that I use for when I work on my cars. So um, it's nice that everything's metal because you can pretty much hook anything up to it. Um, you know, I, I got even my magnet tray here with some extra nuts and bolts. So overall, I mean, this is just very, very functional. I have all this overhead room um, to put stuff on. At this point, I'm thinking about buying a couple more. I don't know which ones. Uh, the lockers are handy, um, but I would probably get one with more shell, order more shells with one to where I can stack things up in it. But yeah, so I um, got my little laundry for my uh, car shop towels, a uh, little basket that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link if you guys are interested. So in total length, we're talking 174 inches across and uh, 77 inches high but I am off the ground another four inches, so I'm a little higher than that. Um, uh, I believe 18 inches deep for the cabinets. I'm not sure about the wall cabinets. I think those are 15 inch deep. So we've got plenty of, of storage, plenty of work area. I'm, I'm overall very happy with them. Now, I'm gonna go with a, a couple. So honestly, it's almost all pros. I, I'm happy with them. I, would, I wouldn't trade them. Uh, there's nothing out there that I would pick over them that I'm familiar with for the price. So bang for the buck, this is the way to go. This is the Bold Series 3.0. Here's what, here's what I've um, come up with with my, I guess the, the cons. You got some alignment issues here on the doors. You'll see one's a little lower than the other. Um, so this one has a tendency to stick a little bit. So I'll look about adjust, adjusting that. I haven't found a real good solution besides probably taking out that door and putting a washer in there. Um, alignment issue again over here a little bit. Uh, this is pretty good, pretty good, uh, really good. And then another alignment issue over here. 
that's fine. I can live with that. Um, I haven't said anything to New Age about it. It's something that I think that's too small to worry about and to reship about and all that good stuff. Um, in, ship, in shipping, there's a small dent right here. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up. Um, also, this uh, little bit of folded metal right here is kind of sticking out just a tiny bit. So that's some cons as far as the build quality shipping um, is concerned. Now, as far as, you know, the storage is my other only thing. These top cabinets do not have a way to put to mount shelves. Now, what I would recommend is to, to New Age is to make some, you know, strong magnetized shelves that can carry, you know, a few pounds for somebody that wants to store paper, um, you know, files or something up in this cabinet. Um, that would be helpful if that's even possible with magnets. But I wouldn't put screws in them. I mean, it would be hard for me to drill holes into these. So one is I would like to see shelves in these um, as, as an option if you wanted it. Uh, two would be more shelves for the, your big lockers because again, three shelves is a little, a little low I think overall because you got one, two, three and you can space them out however you want. But um, as you can see, I don't have a lot in there and I could have minimized some room with another shelf. Four shelves per unit would be a little more, I think a little bit more um, functional overall. And um, I think really that's my only cons. Is that there's a little bit of shipping damage, a little bit of um, you know quality control issues as far as the alignment of the doors. But overall, like I said, I wouldn't trade it for, for any other system that I know of for the price. You get the best bang for your buck. I mean, and there's other systems out there that are five grand for what you get here. And it's just, I, I, I don't think that's worth it. Again, very sturdy, um, highly recommended. I mean, you can just tell they're built, they're built right. And if you're looking for a garage setup, this is gonna be, I think, um, on the top of your list. So um, I paid a, a $17.80 with taxes and shipping. So I feel like that's a good price. And I ended up getting them from New Age. There's uh, other places like Costco and pretty much everybody sells them. I think Home Depot and Lowe's sell them, but um, I couldn't beat the price because New Age gives you better shipping. And I believe the taxes were pretty good too as far as, but yeah, New Age definitely gave me the best price overall. So I'm gonna, I would say, try them, compare. I compared like five different websites, even uh, Wayfair, and uh, I, the best price was by far from New Age themselves because they pretty much, they're a little bit more expensive, I feel like, but then your shipping's cheaper, so it works out better. So um, there it is, guys. Um, like I said, I really highly recommend them. If you guys are looking for a cabinet setup, this is gonna be it. So if you guys like my video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys are interested in the content that I produce. Um, and I'll continue making uh, videos for you guys. So I'll see you on the next one. Thank you and have a good one.